Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of flipping. Today we're going to kind of go over a tutorial on a more basic trick. <clears throat> and that'll be rollovers. Rollovers, rollovers, rollovers. You see me do a lot of them. So this is uh, not exactly going to be like a tutorial on how to do a rollover because there's plenty of tutorials on that. Um, basically, the basic rollover, you want to have the bite handle in your hand, holding it like a pencil between your index and thumb, and you're going to want to throw it over your thumb. And I think the best way to start is to just practice getting it up over that in between your knuckle of your thumb and the meat of your palm. You want it right there. Okay, because I see people try to do rollovers and they're too far down. They're like this and that's just going to be messy. You don't want it down that far. And then I've seen people also do it too far up where they're like this. Also, also not going to end well for you. So what you want to do is you want to get right there, right over that little knuckle joint. And then you want to practice. Just throwing it over and catching it. Okay? Once you got that, you can do the rollout to complete the move. Like so. Okay, so that's a standard rollover. What I really want to focus on is, is more rollover combos here. So like some good moves that I like to throw rollovers into. Obviously, you get your main rollover. You got that little thing that I do, that zero G thumb. So basically, I like to ricochet it until I'm at this point. Palms down, the safe handle's coming towards, I mean, sorry, the bite handle's coming towards my thumb, and I just, <laughs> there's a fly on me. I just do the rollover and. I make sure to roll a knife out so it doesn't cut me. Um, I, my style of flipping, I use a lot of rollovers. So rollovers to me are very important. You know, backhand, backwards like that, across the thumb. I do them across the finger. Um, I do them across the middle finger and then do chaplains. You can do them, um, let me see if I can remember, you can do them backwards towards your fingers and do middle finger chaplains off of that. Let me do it more fluently. There you go. So you can do one of those. You can do them zero G like I do. You can do them zero G backwards. It's one of my more well fleshed out tricks. Um, it was the first one that I learned, and it's the, the one I know the most in variety of. Um, so I think it's one of the most important tricks for building combos. You can do a lot with it, you can build a lot from it, and I think it just looks really good. So, not really a tutorial. I mean, I showed how to do it, but basically once you learn how to do it, you should take it and run with it. Practice. All kinds of different rollovers. Go towards yourself, backwards, like that. You know, try doing it over your finger, your index, like that. Try doing it zero G. You know, all the ways that you can think of to get a rollover, practice doing it. You'll thank me later because it'll allow you to string together really cool combos. So... That's all. Uh, thanks for watching.